Monday morning. Definitely gonna have to start cutting grass. Yep. Well, I guess we'll go run this run this load of heavy iron in real quick. Damn weeds. I'll go throw these doors off, run this heavy iron in. See if we can find any other stuff real quick in the trash. And then we'll come back and got to start doing farm work, that's for sure. Texas had a EF3 tornado on the ground for 30 miles yesterday. That's crazy. We had tornado warnings here at 3 o'clock in the morning. The alarm started going off, so I got up just in case and watched the radar. We got lucky. We don't get too many tornadoes over here, but it does happen. Nothing crazy, but we get small ones every once in a while. Subs. I guess in the grand scheme of things, we're just ant hills in the backyard, right? And it really comes down to it. No matter how much we don't want to be, it's <laughs> yeah. We're just grains of sand, right? There ain't really too much out here today. We got a bent up shepherd's hook and clothes hanger rack thing trash trucks right over on the other block so yep mr. scrappity had a slow day yesterday too I guess today's gonna be slow for us yep I already went through here so off to the next street see if we can beat them there It's sewing somewhere, right? <laughs> Old donkey's acting up. <laughs> Hopefully it's just low on fluid, but I checked it yesterday and it seemed like it was it was okay, but I don't know. I guess I'll have to look at it again. I did check it in park. Maybe I need to check it while it's in neutral or something. Or have somebody hold the brake and gear and then check it sometimes. It's, it's acting like it's a little low on fluid. It's not really slipping driving, but it won't go in a reverse half the time, so <laughs> something's going on. having reverses putting a damper on things go down to the end of the block and turn around it's kind of a cool old toolbox too bad nobody wants those things anymore
plastic. Just got stuck out on the main road trying to turn around. No reverse. So I can't pull in here because I won't be able to pull back out. So I guess we'll do it taco stack style, right? Where we gotta walk, walk a mile for some old rusty curmudgeon chair. Alright. Contractor guy just gave me a couple windows. Said they're pulling four, 14 more, 14 or 18 more out of the house. He said he's gonna lay them over there by the side of the road for me. So to come back a couple days and get them. Don't let me forget, right? <laughs> and I think the guy's house is a the guy's house they're working on, he always leaves me stuff out there anyway. He works on Volkswagens and stuff. And uh, he should be cool with the pile sitting there for a couple days anyway. But we'll come back and grab them. They all got glass in them, but hey, whatever. Aluminum ain't worth much right now, but whatever. I'll just pile it up, right? What are you going to do? Pretty soon I probably won't be able to mess with any of that until after blueberry season. So maybe by then the prices will be higher. Got no damn time for that shit. So, guess I might have to come back tomorrow to pay my ticket. <laughs> what a racket, right? What a racket. We got never run an automotive over here. Get to work! <laughs> Freaking weed killer is expensive, man. That stuff's like fifty dollars for the small, for the uh, the cheap brand. Roundup Max is like a hundred. That's crazy. Well, sure beats a weed whacker. I know that. If I had to weed whack everything, man, it'd be ten foot tall. Because <laughs> that wouldn't be happening. Coming. The Chinook. <laughs> oh man. Ain't getting much done today. I guess we'll be doing maintenance and whatever else. Changing oils and stuff I didn't get to last week. But such is life. Mother Nature calls the shots, right? She can let you build it. She can take it away. She's done. Oh man. Old donkey don't want to go in reverse. 
great. <laughs> uh, something else got to fix, right? One truck with a bad power steering box and another truck don't want to go in reverse. This is why I try to only buy manuals, but what are you going to do, right? Oh well. The only problem we're going to have is unloading at the scrapyard. That's going to be an issue. Uh, figure it out, I guess. I need to cut this grass, too. I know that. Jeez. Well, I guess we'll focus on things we can fix and not worry about too much about the things we can't fix, right? Well, my, my air compressor line on this truck rubbed through this stud on on the power steering box. I knew it was going to do that. I'm meaning to zip tie it up, but never did. All right. So there's a it rubbed a hole in in the line from my air system on this truck. So I got some a barb and some clamps to fix that with. And this time we'll make sure we zip tie it up here to the face of this compressor or something out of the way, but we'll get that cut off and patched up so I can use the air compressor on this truck. Rub the hole clean in it. All well, the rain passed, but the wind stayed. I guess I might have to take a ride to another junkyard. See if they can order me a power steering box for my other truck because I really need to fix that thing. And that's probably an easier fix than, well actually this truck that I'm working on now has the bad power steering box in it, but it's probably a much easier fix than the other one. I'm thinking that the other truck is a solenoid issue because it was intermediate or inter yeah whatever intermediate wait oh I'm thinking the problem on the other truck is a solenoid because it was it was an intermittent problem for the past few days maybe even a week 
I've been having random times where reverse did not work. And then, you know, I'd go from drive to reverse to park and a couple and it would come back and go. So that tells me from my experience that it is probably let's see if we can move you guys. You're kind of in the way. It's probably a uh, solenoid issue, whether it be electrical or the solenoid sticking because of lack of maintenance over the course of you know the truck's life. Because the other guy didn't do nothing to it apparently, but until it broke, which is most most people do that. But if it was a mechanical issue you know you would have it would break and it would never come back you know usually mechanical issues are not intermittent like that you know it just breaks and it breaks so usually when you have an, an intermittent problem like that it's either electronic or you know something sticking and with the valves sticking the way they are and, and the, the hydraulic lifters sticking and I mean I know the engine's got nothing to do with the transmission but if the engine had lack of maintenance you know the transmissions had lack of maintenance and I mean the transmission fluid's not burnt smelling or anything like that so the guy didn't beat on it he just didn't maintain it you know So we'll see. I guess I guess we'll be driving it with no reverse for a while and watch where we park and all that good stuff. And going to the scrapyard is gonna be an issue though because I can't back up to the pile anymore, so I'm gonna have to wait my turn until I can pull in sideways to the shred pile. And uh when I take heavy iron I'm just gonna have to unload it into the bucket of their bobcat or something and do it that way for now until I can figure it out. I'm sure they won't care. We'll figure it out. Alright, I gotta get these tires pumped up, get this thing warmed up, change the oil in it, put gas in it. Uh, I don't think I need to sharpen the blades, but I need to grease them and grease the wheels and all, all that. So, fun times. When it rains, it pours, right? That's for sure, but springtime's coming fast, and I got to get these trucks fixed. I'm on Scrap Kingdom status over here almost. <laughs> yeah. Not a big fan of this design, that's for sure. Pool boy knee pad.
All right, maintenance man is fired for not cleaning out from under the deck last year. Jeez. Oh, I wish I could get fired. I wish it was that easy. And of course, guess what happened? Ran out of grease. Uh, <laughs> as per the regular, right? Man, that stuff is on there, huh? Oh man, this is how you get a rotted deck. Suckers on there. Hmm. Oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> old big old chunk came off. Yep. You don't want to leave your mowers like that. That's why your decks rot out. I know I should have cleaned it, but. I should have cleaned it. <laughs> oh well, I guess I'll go reload the grease gun now. After I scrape some of this crud out of here. I like this old grease gun. It's been it's been good, that's for sure. I wanted to try to grease up the uh, discs today too, but it's too damn windy out there. <clears throat> I need to kind of hose it off anyway from last year. That thing, the two sets of discs, I think takes, the last time I greased them, it took like three or four tubes. It's like two discs a tube, something like that. Come on. All right. Oh wait, maintenance guy's definitely fired. popping off what we got oh black seed simpson romaine starting too oh here we go what do we got we got cucumbers coming up huh are they dry not really no spinach no tomatoes yet cucumbers are coming up though this thing's kicking off charge controller still haven't gotten the tank in here I need to do that today. I need to start more plants today too. I wanted to. Maybe I will when I get back. I gotta go try to get a, order a uh, power steering box for my other truck. So give them a little drink, just a little bit for now. Hold them over. 
Black seeded Simpson grows really good around here. I'm sure it grows good everywhere, but that stuff's really crazy. All right, we'll be back, little babies. It's nice and warm in here. Almost 70. Poor old Tappy. Tap, tap, tap. Now she got no reverse. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we might be taking the power steering rack out of the, or the power steering box out of this pig. <laughs> oh, man. Well, maybe, maybe it's not just reverse. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know, this thing's acting up like crazy. I was just stuck in first gear, and then it was slipping, and then it grabbed again. Now it seems like it's going. I don't know, I think this transmission's on its way out. Yeah, like right now it won't shift to overdrive. try going to a dead stop. I don't want to get too far away from home where I can't get pulled back with a golf cart. Let's see what happens. Let's try to put it in park. Oh, oh, we got, oh, oh, it's trying. Oh, we kind of got reverse. I have no clue what's going on here. This is very weird. And then drive is back, right? Let's see. First. Nope. Oh, it shifted. Huh. Well, I guess if we stop moving, we'll be calling Freddy for an emergency tow. Come on, shift. Went into overdrive, but this thing's acting real funky. And like I was driving it the other day, and I had all both windows down. I might have said this in the other video, and it's like it was making like a whining noise right before it shifted. Like it would, you'd be driving along, and right before it shifted, it would go, and then it would shift, and the noise would go away. And then the next gear again. So I don't know if the pump's going or. Something's going on with this bad boy. I don't have a spare two-wheel drive transmission. So. It sucks. She might get parted out. We'll see. I'll come back if I get stuck. <laughs> I don't know. It's a little slippy in reverse now. This is weird. Definitely some sort of electrical issue going on here. Well, not electrical, but pump fluid wise or something. I don't know. I'm going to go in here and order a see if these guys can get me a power steering box for the other truck. Well, trials and tribulations of dealing with junk, right? They don't have any. They can't get any. They're not even in the computer. Nobody's got them. Story of my life, right? Dealing with these old trucks. They're not even that old. It's 94. That's pretty old, I guess. But this thing's shifting fine now. It's really weird. I don't know. Well, we'll see what happens. I know where there's a truck with a good steering box in it at another junkyard, but it's all the way in the back corner with about three Honda Civics on top of it. So, they only want 75 bucks for the box, but I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get it out. I don't know. 
Alright, we'll figure it out. We gotta do something here. Things are falling apart around me. <laughs> What is that? I don't know what it is, but I want it. It's an electric chipper. Scores. Dispose. Chipper shredder. Hmm, looks like somebody tried to use it. Might as well look again before we leave, right? See a tape measure. See some of those gloves that smell like fish. Oh, what's in here? Oh, fucking scores, right? Alright, we're taking the box. Crow's feet in here. Oh, man. Bad idea. Trash everywhere. Oh, look, there's a swivel socket or swivel swivel extension. Yes. I knew we'd find something eventually. What's in this box? And there's some dumpster juice down in there. Eh, eh, I need my pick and stick. All right, we'll let it go. Let's get out of here. Well, I went over to my buddy's shop. Told me, told me what I already knew. It needs transmission. Yep. <laughs> Figured that much, right? But uh, I did end up buying some scrap off him. Bunch of automotive stuff. Some heavy iron over there. So, take it in. This old donkey's gonna work till its last yeehaw, right? <laughs> yep. Oh, look who it is. Expedition guy. <laughs> oh, he's got a bed liner on his trailer now. He's learning all that little stuff falling out. <laughs> well, let's see if this thing will cooperate and give us reverse. If not, we're gonna have to wait and load it off the side. Is it gonna work? Oh, oh, come on. Oh, come on. Are you gonna go? I guess not. Oh, 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 oh we're going. We're going. It changed its mind. Yay! It's the little things in life, right? Holy. Alright, let's get to work. Oh. 5250. I gave him 20 bucks for the for the metal and stuff while I was there, but we still got some irony aluminum, a couple rads, a battery, some other stuff that might be stainless. I'll have to check it out. Well, Old donkey backed up to the light iron pile, but no bueno on the heavy iron. I had to put it in the bucket of the bobcat. But I guess we'll end it there. Thanks for watching. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I guess it's like true grit up in the house, right? We're just gonna keep stabbing this old jackass in the ass until he falls over. <laughs> yeah. Later.